Ramsey rule guides governments how they should set taxes to raise revenue with minimum welfare loss. In simple words, this rule says taxes should be levied in inverse proportion to the elasticity of demand. Goods with inelastic demand where people cannot change their consumption quickly, they should be taxed at the higher rate. Goods which have elastic demand where people can change their consumption quickly, they should be taxed at a lesser rate. But this rule is modified by countries in real life. You pick up salt and medicines. They have very inelastic demand. You can't tax them very highly. Poor people are, going to, are also going to use them. So for equity reasons, taxes are levied at a lesser rate on salt and medicines. So this is opposite of what Ramsey rule is telling. But take up an example of petrol and diesel. This also has inelastic demand, but there are high excise duties on them. So this is matching Ramsey's logic. Take up another example of very inelastic demand. For example, cigarettes and alcohol. The government says that we are going to tax these goods which are harmful. So the government is going to set very high taxes on them and they generate revenue through that. Now take up another example where Ramsey rule is not being followed. For example, luxury cars. Ramsey rule says you should have a lower tax rate on the goods which have elastic demand. But on luxury goods, there are very high taxes. Government gives this logic that we want to reduce inequality and we can generate revenue from wealthy individuals. 